Today we are going to be trying out the very best Banshee deck in the entire game. So we're going to go through one to see how they play it first, and then we're going to be trying it out for ourselves. So fellas, grab your coffee, grab your device, let's head on down to Game by the Beach. In we go. So we've got Banshee along with Chemist, Earth Elemental, Trapper, and then Dryad as well. Can I look at my Dryad Talents? Fairy of Ra Rage and Gift of Nature. I feel like that makes some pretty decent sense. And remember, I always forget about this, but Banshee works with Earth Elemental. That's a, that's a combination that actually works really well. Both Trapper plus um chemist so it's double shield breaking which i think could be really strong as well as the fact that banshee needs all that extra damage banshee's another one of those cards that does pretty well it's actually really similar to, to um sea dog in this manner that it does really well against waves but kind of struggles with um with bosses okay and this is what the talents are for our banshee We've got Solitude, so that means if there's there are no more than four Banshees on the field, Banshee's attack radius is increased by 30% and damage by 35%. We've all, so we have a level... Do we have a level 9 or do we only have a level 7? Do we have a talent on our Banshee? Why do I think we might? I don't know. We'll have to check. At most, it's a level 9. I think it's only a level 7. Um, the second one, Spirit of Vengeance. If there are one or fewer Banshees on the field... Merging units results in a new Banshee. Damage of all Banshees is increased by 10%, okay? And then the last one, Decay. Level 13 Banshee is obviously pretty good, but... 13, Decay. Monsters within the Banshee's radius die at 25% health, while bosses die at 20% health. So that's kind of like an Executioner type deal. Really, really cool. And it's interesting, so a couple of things. Is this guy, we're going up against an Inquiz deck, Max Inquiz, so hey, nothing to, nothing to sneeze at. Uh, it is the fall season, so I've been doing a lot of sneezing, actually. Wow. Um, Max Inquiz, but he is rocking Alchemist. Alchemist can be good. Let's see if he's running the this, this stun. I think so, right? Battle Elixir, that's the stun. Experiment, and Golem comes my way, too. So it is an aggro Alchemist, right? Don't look at Alchemist and just be like, Alchemist stinks, right? That It does have a place in the meta. Are there better units for this deck, for Inquis? I would probably say Trapper's better. I would probably say Sharpshooter's better. But it does similar, right? It does a little bit of damage. does a little bit of slow. I might not. Uh, but it does stun, kind of like Sharpshooter, right? Um, but we're also rocking with our Mermaid, which I still don't understand why I can't look at my own equipment on, mer on my... Hero. That seems very silly to me. They should add that into the game. They should add that into the replays. Doesn't make any sense. We can look at their equipment, so what's the difference? This dude's got pretty average equipment. Legendary, but nothing too too crazy, so I think we might be able to handle it. I have no idea where this guy is in an account, uh, but we're just going to copy this guy's deck in the second game and try it out for ourselves. But it's really interesting to me. I, I went away from this point. I wanted to talk about it. He's using that top corner as a tile. You can see the radius of the Banshee. So he's hitting pretty much the front of the portal, right at the front of the portal, without wasting any of his radius. So that top corner might be the most optimal location. But he also might just be using that top corner because it's got a damage tile on it. I'm not really sure. I can't ask him. I can't ask him. Um, so maybe it's just like best of both worlds. That's why he chose that tile. But maybe he would go for that corner no matter what. And he's only going for one. So we're probably going to have to play it a little bit differently just because we don't have that talent. Wow, oh, it's still slow to take out bosses. We don't have the... Um, we might have Solitude talent. I don't see why I would have the rank 9 talents. I really don't. Um, but maybe. But we certainly don't have Spirit of Vengeance with one or fewer. Okay, so we certainly don't have that. Um... The way Banshee works, you want them to absorb, right? That's how you get your damage stacks. You can see we have all rank one units, which means we have not 
merged anything out because I believe if I understand that talent correctly, if we merge, we're going to automatically get a Banshee. So I would assume that he's going to merge somewhere into the middle to where it's just going to get absorbed. And that's a really cool interaction. But fellas, if you are enjoying this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Like the video. If you want to help support the channel, go check out my games. Link is in the description. If you're going to buy the premium pass, you're going to get a 10% discount. Use code BEACH in checkout. You can actually buy literally anything you want in that shop that you would like to get from the Rush Royale shop. It's the exact same store. It's just that you can support content creators at the same time by going through my games using their code. Uh, and it enables me to continue making the content that you guys enjoy so much, as well as you guys can leave me some messages, funny or heartfelt. I love them both, and I love you guys. But here we go. Puppeteer in two seconds. We're rocking mermaid. I'm really curious what level my mermaid is and what kind of equipment we have. We can totally check at the end of this game if I remember. He's sketching me out every single time we have a boss. So, like, for instance, if instead of we got... Instead... If we didn't get Puppeteer every time, and instead we got Tribunal every time, we would have continuously gotten hit. Boom. 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 Right? We're taking things out slow. Kind of the same thing with, like, I mean, what's another one that triggers right away? Assassin? I don't know. A Grandmaster, maybe? We probably would have been stuck with Grandmasters and things. So now he's going for two. Maybe he's just trying to get a high-ranking stack so he stays at one first and then tries to go from there. I like that idea. Maybe we should try that. Um... I don't even, I, I think we have mermaid, maybe a level one mermaid. Is that going to be enough? Maybe we'll read the description and see what's up. Um, I'm not really sure. But yeah, like Bedlam's going to make me super nervous. Like this is why I run J just to make sure that we take out the bosses as quickly as possible. Four seconds to go. He's doing pretty good. We don't really have any high-ranking anything. Oh, the golem. So we'll... All right, we did take it out. Jeez Louise. I don't even know what else to say. This dude's living on the edge, but that's all that really matters is that he's taking it out. But yeah, if he had a high-ranking earth elemental, a high-ranking chemist, a high-ranking pretzel, he'd be in a better spot. But at the same time... Since he doesn't have those things, the high ranking of those units turns into absorbs or boosts for the actual Banshee rather than support units that are supporting Banshee. So he'll probably get there a little bit later on. He's got a rank three Dryad just chilling. He's got 8,000 mana. This dude is like the most patient man in the world. Just chilling. Now he's merging. So since he has two Banshees now, not every merge he does will be a um, a Banshee, which is probably a good thing. He protected that right there. Maybe that's why he's rocking uh, Mermaid. I know Mermaid also buffs your damage. Eight mil. Yeah, he finally hit one. He's getting moved. I mean, that's, that's borderline tragic that he got moved right there, right? That's a big difference. At least he's still on a tile. But that's a huge difference that he got moved right there. Now he he's not panicking, obviously, but now he's uh, maybe a little bit more awake. But yeah, Mermaid obviously protects you. It, it has that bubble, has that shield, which is really great against, you know, a, a number of, of decks. And he's focusing on one. I think if a, a big takeaway for me watching this guy play is that he's, he's laser focused on one primary banshee and then he's gonna get those other ones that are also buffing him as as you go i think that's really important to note but now he's got three he's trying to keep it under four i want to say i have a talent on my banshee am i crazy i don't know maybe i've just played a lot with it in um in like mirror match or something where i know see look at this he could get his rank threes merged he didn't he got uh, his dryads merge was fantastic for him, but you can tell we get hit by like every boss and then he got another dryad merge Wow, he got super lucky right there um, And my opponent Did not turn out so lucky and that is why we're gonna lose the game or win the game Wow 
Wow. And there's nothing my opponent can do at this point. Wow, wow, wow. So, we've only got 2,000 crit here. Uh, we do have a level 6 mermaid and some... I, I would say our equipment is pretty much the same as our opponent. We do have less crit than him. Significant. I mean, 700 is a significant amount less. 650. Um, but it is a level 13... I mean, it's a level 13 Banshee versus a level max Inquis. So, you know what? There's that's that's there's nothing nothing wrong with that. But let's throw this deck in our slot. And let's jump into the first game of us trying this deck out on the ladder. All right, and first game, well, it's our second game, but it's our first game trying to play this deck. Okay, so here we go. Right off the bat, so we're going to need to get Banshees on the edges first and foremost. Okay, I was trying to make this deck exactly like the one we just watched. Um, we have Mermaid in here. We only have a level one. We don't have any talents on our, on our, uh, on our Banshee. Okay, I don't know why I thought we did, but we, we don't. Okay, I, I think it must have been because of the... Uh, Mirror Match or Rush for Glory or whatever one that I, I was able to play with him, her, um, but didn't actually. Rockin' Mermaid, rockin' everything else. I even went with the same exact talents on our Dryad, even though I'm I'm pretty... Um, so we're going to put one right in the corner. We, we're going to absorb both of those, so that's great. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, even though I'm pretty into the left side Fairy of Growth talent, I think that would work out really well. But if we're going all damage, we've got Pretzel. We've, we've got every support thing in the world to support this Banshee's damage. Let's hit our let's hit our Mermaid just to make sure. So, so let's try our best. I have half a mind to do this because it'll spread to our Banshee. Boom! And a little... Uh, extra guy right there let's just level up a couple of these i can hit my banshee once we get to um once we see warlock i think that'll be the way to go we are going up against a max cultist level six gadget pretty good equipment level 11 legendary here 10 is not bad as an epic four um i think that's might actually be the same level as mine um keep on spamming here we got a little extra mana why is my eye itching right now what's going on it's that fall season man the eyes itching the the nose is sneezing i don't know what's going on but let's take on warlock here we'll hit our banshee we did take it out we've got 1400 mana let's spam okay and i think what we're gonna try and do is just like our opponent or uh, not our opponent our uh, the guy we just watched I think we're going to try our best to get um, Banshees in the middle. I'll merge this way. Get a get a thing up there. You know what? Let's merge. Um, I'll merge this way also. If we get a Banshee, that's good, right? We're going to build up some more mana. I, don't, I didn't read if our Mermaid at level 1 does extra damage or if it does any of that. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Let me just spam right quick. So we do have a Banshee over here. I don't want that Banshee. Um, I want to get rid of him. I'm going to merge that. It's kind of a waste to merge the Banshees. I want this guy. I want those two to get the bonus. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to level him up. It's going to get rid of that shield, but that's okay. We are going to get an absorb. This guy's at three at least, which is solid. I'm really skeptical about this deck at this point because I hadn't seen what that game was going to look like. And realistically, that guy just got brutalized by uh, Grandmaster. So we'll have to see if it works for us. I think Earth Elemental is helping us out pretty good. I'm going to spam. I'll spam now. I'll just do that. We'll get another one there. We'll do this as well as this as well as this. Looking for a Banshee. We found one. Let's hit our Mermaid. Let's hit that. And you know why I did it like that? Don't move us! Because if you um, 
We do actually have whatchamacallit, um, that that enchantment that cleanses us sometimes. Uh, it's like confusion or something, I forget what it's called. Um, but if you spam and you get a couple of banshees before you hit, even if they're in the middle that they're gonna get absorbed, and you get them before you hit the uh, mana upgrade, mana whatever, it'll help, it'll also attack. So that's why I kind of timed it like that. And I was aware of that. You might not believe me, but I was aware of that. I'm going to go here. I don't know if anybody can hear Oliver snoring in the background. Kind of funny. Uh, let's get a couple of these guys up. I think it'll be beneficial. I'm going to level up these guys to keep them alive an extra second. I'm going to level up our chemist as well. Um, I might as well merge that just to see what we get. Nothing crazy there. Um... I might be able to hit Banshee twice throughout the wave. That might be the better play. I don't think we care about Gorgon necessarily. It should be fine. All right. I mean, we're alive. Seven and three is stacks. We got two there. We do have a couple of surrounding units to help us. We're going to once again hit our... Um, Banshee, Attack, Screech, whatever it's called. I mean, that was good. We, uh, we protected it with Mermaid. Let us do... I'll do, um... Let's get this guy up some more. I'll hit my Mermaid. I'll try to hit the Screech twice in this, in this wave i was gonna spam a little bit more as well but we don't really have a ton of things we got 37 seconds let's hit our screech here help us out with with uh with banner lord like right there that didn't look too bad taking out banner lord but like it looks pretty bad when we're trying to take out bosses so um this guy at four i think is pretty worthwhile i'm gonna try and do that exact same play to where we're gonna hit our mermaid in a second when maybe a couple of bubbles go away I'm going to spam my board before we see Warlock, and then I'm going to try and hit Banshee once again once um, once uh, Warlock shows up and we have a full board. So let's do this. Okay, and now we can do another one. One point. All right, I mean, not the end of the world. Let's level him up too. Let's keep him alive. Let's do that. Oh, another one. Okay. Um, let me do that as well. Could have been cool. I'll do this. That's fine by me. Another one. Nice. Okay, so I just don't want these to get... I don't want to summon, like, a Banshee over here. So I'm going to leave that be for a second. I'm going to hit my... Hit my Mermaid. Uh, I'm going to hit my Earth Elemental as well. I'm going to hit my Banshee as soon as I can. Spawn a couple of times. We're fighting off Lion. Just don't hit my main mans there. I'm going to level him up just to keep him alive. 25 seconds to go up against Bedlam. I'm going to do this. Um, we've got another Banshee surviving there. 15 seconds. 13 seconds. Um, I'm going to hit my, my Mermaid here. Do we survive against Bedlam, or does our shield protect us? Stay tuned to find out. Oh, we're definitely getting switched. At least this guy might be fine. Okay. We're definitely taking a hit here. Um, and that rank four is going to go away as well. Shoot! Now we've got no stacks. Let's hit our, our guy here. Maybe we can protect a little bit okay well we did protect we're gonna go there we're gonna go uh here and here we're gonna go over here we're gonna go over here we've got a couple of banshees just we just we just have no stacks that's all we just have no stacks stay alive baby stay alive 35 seconds i don't think we've got much of a chance here. Uh, I'll hit my mermaid. Is it going to do anything? And that is an L. Hit him with a good game. Not a whole lot else we could do. Would we have been able to make it further if we rocked J? Yeah. I mean, probably, right? But then it's more of a J deck 
rather than a Banshee deck. And that's kind of what we run into when we rock Sea Dog and we're running Jay. And we've outperformed Sea Dog with Jay into the 200 millions. We, we've done like 300 million from our Jay and like 250 from our Sea Dog. Not really a Sea Dog deck at that point, right? It's more of a Jay, Jay deck. Let me know what you think of this Banshee deck. I'm undecided. I like the idea of it. Could we spam more? in a different deck so we get more absorbed so our Banshee is stronger, maybe. But does that outweigh having a million support cards in your Banshee deck? I'll let you guys decide. But that's going to be the end of this YouTube video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.